welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference here in Bucharest, Romania, where I've got the great pleasure of being joined in the studio today uh, by His Excellency Johnny G. Plate, who is the Minister of Communications and Informatics for the Republic of Indonesia. Minister, welcome to the studio. Nice to meet you, Max. Now, I'd like to ask you about uh, the Indonesian G20 presidency. What impacts uh, does the Indonesian G20 presidency seek to achieve through the Digital Economy Working Group? Well, Max, uh, Indonesia has promoted three priority agendas during the uh, Digital Economic Working Group meetings. And uh, uh, it was uh, broadly adopted and agreed by the minister during the uh, Digital Economic Minister meetings. Uh, that consists of the first one is the connectivity and post-COVID-19 recovery. And the second priority issue is that the uh, digital skills and digital literacy and the third issue is that the uh, uh, data free flow and cross-border data flow. Uh, basically this is consists of the ICT infrastructure de deployment, the uh, 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 improvement of these uh, digital skills and the management of data and cross-border data flow. So what impacts that we are looking for is that by having deployed the uh, ICT infrastructure uh, uh, in more aggressive to support the uh, digital transformation by all nations, that will uh, closure and will uh, uh, closure and as a digital bridge, you know, to make sure that everyone uh, uh, is in, you know, no one shall be left be behind. That that's the only way. Uh, to have everyone take benefit of the digital economy uh, on it and uh, 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 improve the scale of the uh, talents and to have a certain understanding on how we manage the cross-border data flow. By having this broad uh, uh, framework of uh, or uh, 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 ICT and uh, digital economy, that will make sure all nations, you know, and everyone can enjoy the benefit of this uh, digital economy, which is now grow very fast. For example, in Indonesia, the uh, compound annual growth rate of digital economy is about 18.8%. And it is projected that Indonesia digital economy by 2030 is around 315 billion US dollars. You know. Uh, having all these uh, potentials, then look at the uh, uh, next, uh, you know, uh, potential downturn of the economy. We really have to make sure that the d digital economy will take care of the world economy. Fair enough. And what are the collaborations between Indonesia and ITU on the G20 presidency? Well, I, uh, uh, at this uh, time, would like to thank you, you know, and appreciate ITU that ITU assists us as the uh, knowledge partner during the Digital Economic Working Group, you know. And uh, uh, ITU has given a lot of assistance, you know, in making sure that this uh, Digital Economic Working Group went well. You know, went well by having all the ministers have the broad uh, agreements on the agenda. Yeah. So, and uh, we support very much on the two uh, 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 proposals from ITU, which is in regard to the uh, uh, smart villages, you know, in continuation of the our program in Indonesia, for example, the smart cities into the smart village as well as the uh, smart islands initiative. Yeah, that will help also. I think the archipelago, you know, the uh, uh, the the many countries that have. Uh, uh, different level of uh, challenges on the uh, deployment of ICT infrastructure. Absolutely. And what are Indonesia's uh, contributions to achieving the goals of ICU's Connect 2030 agenda? Well, uh, one thing that uh, we must make sure under the uh, leadership and the directive of Indonesian President, President Joko Widodo, uh, uh, we very aggressive to make sure in three layers of ICT infrastructure being properly de de deployed throughout the archipelago, throughout the nations. The basic uh, uh, and the very fundamental uh, fiber optic network, you know, broadband. You know. 
uh, we have deployed almost 400 or plus minus 460,000 kilometers length of fiber optic in Indonesia, inland and subsea within the country, but we still need to connect the dots. By having this uh, uh, breadbone connection, fiber optic connection in Indonesia, we also want to connect to the world. At the moment, you know, we, ha we, are, we have in our plan to connect Indonesia to the uh, uh, west coast of US, uh, uh, cross Pacific uh, fiber optic connections, mm -hmm. as well as our traditional connections to Europe and East Asia. That's the, and Australia, of course, that's the uh, uh, economics uh, uh, potential in there. Yeah, that's of course uh, uh, one that we have to do uh, very urgently. And the second is to connect the unconnected uh, spots also by having, uh, you know, deploy the middle miles. Yeah, we, Indonesia is one of the very aggressive in, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the satellites businesses. We have, we have just signed contract and we do hope that by uh, second quarter next year, Indonesia's two high throughput satellites will be launched to the orbit. This will support, you know, uh, the public facilities, schools, for example, so almost 100,000 schools across Indonesia, the uh, health center and healthcare facilities, you know, the uh, local government's offices and all these things, you know. Uh, at the same time, we also do, uh, uh, I have given license for this uh, low earth orbit. You know, I don't need to, uh, to mention the names, but you, you, you know. Yeah, that's the lo uh, low earth orbit satellites now available for Indonesia as well, but up to the back hole infrastructure. This will help also the, for the connections. You know. And in Indonesia, for example, we still have the blackout uh, uh, spots. You know, uh, uh, but by end of the 2024 and of the administrations, we do hope that all of 83,000, more than 83,000 uh, villages in Indonesia will be supported by the 4G network, which is our backbone network uh, 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 in Indonesia. We also have rolled out the 5G of center, but this is a 5G experience only for a certain areas and cities. But the 4G network will be uh, deployed throughout Indonesia, cover the whole archipelago, and I do hope 275 million of Indonesia will be digitally on board by 2024. Well, let's hope so. It sounds like yeah. you're making great strides in Indonesia and connectivity. Yeah. We wish you all the very best with that and uh, look forward to catching up with you again very soon. Thank you very much indeed, Minister. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Minister.